And here we are. All right. Hello. Um, welcome to uh, uh, the Splintering Wheel. I consistently need to uh, get these title cards wrong. Um, I'm gonna have to fix that afterwards because I have not updated it for today. Um, but I'll do that while we're doing introductions. Um, my name is Ash. I use she, her pronouns. This is my channel. I'm the GM here. Um, and we are, I have with me four lovely adventurers who are ready to set out into the jungles. Um, and I will get them to introduce themselves and their characters if they are uh, feeling so inclined, starting with Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi. I'm Sarah. I use she, her pronouns. I'm a journalist, art, writer person, and I'm playing Sketch, who is a hard to recognize androgynous human with kind of white hair that occasionally in the sunlight you can see a little bit of red. It's always kind of like braided down against their scalp. Um, and they often have a hood on because they're a bit like the hair is a bit shiny. Um, and they like to sometimes wear other people's faces a bit. Perfectly normal mm -hmm. uh, thing to be into as far as hobbies. Um, next up we have Ray. Hi, Ray. Hi, I'm Ray. Uh, I work on Insert Quest here and I use uh, a variety of pronouns, but today I'm using he, him. Uh, I will be playing Aiki, a, a princess who has been dislodged uh, from her homeland uh, and has decided to start getting proactive about what to do about that instead of waiting for people to save her. Awesome. Um, next up, we have Heather. We have Heather. Hello. Hi. How are you going, Heather? I'm good. How are you? I'm, Doing all right. I'm, I'm alive. That's good. I like that. That is a good place to start. Um, hi, I'm Heather. I'm short shrub on multiple places. Um, and I use she, her, or they, them pronouns. Um, I will be playing Forland, the wonderfully fun salamander immolator. So... Hopefully we're going to not find ourselves flung into magical fire again and ruin everything. Yeah, hopefully. That, that'd that be nice. Um, Awesome. And then finally we have Carrie. Hi, Carrie. How are you going? Hello. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, my, uh, my name's Carrie. Um, she, her pronouns. And today I'll be returning to the character of Elsana, the, the winter mage. Um, with a heart of, well, not 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 gold, but she presumably has a heart. It's just, yeah, um, she doesn't like to get close we, to people. We can only assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So, yeah, that's me. All right. Hey, look at that. I've got all, got all my all my things fixed. Great. Um, so let me just fix this last little bit. Splintering wheel. I'm very professional in this stream. I have definitely taken the time to brush my hair and do my makeup today. Um, <laughs> uh, so, um, some of you have been here, we're in the last adventure. Um, so we, let, let's, let's, let's go through our, our starting move. Um, we, we can zoom into the town of Beta from uh, from above, you know, going through the leaves and things to uh, to come up to the like uh, the dark stone um, uh, of the of the buildings um, with you know bugs crawling around in the dirt and um, and like occasional smatterings of rain running across uh, running across the streets. Um, the the sort of thing where it can't decide if it's going to be if it's sunny or rainy today. Um, and yeah, um, we come into town and, um, if any, have any characters been working on long-term projects around town? Um, if you've, if you've not, if you weren't in the last adventure, 
you can you can do that. Does anyone who who was in the last adventure? I think it was Carrie. It was Elsana and Ike. Yeah. So um, Folland and um, and Sketch have the opportunity to do the thing if they would like to. Heck yeah! Finally, be like, yes, I've got. I haven't. Oh, okay, I would like to attempt to help with the farms. Mm-hmm. Sure. Sounds like a good plan. Um, what does that look like? How are you, how are you helping with the farms? Because the farms are coming along, right? We've got these, um, we've got these, uh, these, like, fields that we're plowing. We've made space for them. You know, there's, they're not just, like, full of, like, s dead stumps and new saplings growing up through the dirt. We've, like, cleared a space for them now. How, what are you doing to help out? Uh, I think just, like... Doing a lot, like some of the kind of just long slog, hard work stuff, because my constitution is one of my best stats. Mm. So yeah, just I've been doing some of the plowing and hauling of stuff around the place. I think. Cool, awesome, yeah. So when you help out, you roll plus uh, plus fortunes. Um, if you consume, if you have anything that would help that you want to like consume as part of, uh, as part of rolling for for this one, you can. But it's plus three already. I don't think I have anything that would be useful. So. That's okay. Yep. Excellent. Ten means we get to tick the, the tick the clock, and nothing bad happens. Yay! Um, so that brings us up to the farms being finished, which means that food can now be purchased in town. Um, so let me no, see. Uh, no more needing to scavenge for rations. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the thing, right? Um, let me find the specifics for us in the because yeah dun dungeon rations can be purchased but also some other things as well um there are a couple of other like different kinds of food because you can have like fancy rations um i don't think that's what they're called uh, I'll, I'll find it in the um I, in the book. i do like the idea of like dungeon rations or fancy rations like th those are the two choices yeah basically <laughs> um <laughs> no, no, no. One is just like an energy bar, and then then the other one is those fancy Russian thing, the ration <laughs> things that they have on that someone made on Tumblr. I think they made like his rations for each of the different D and D cultures. They said races, but cultures. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. That does That's actually sound cool. pretty cool. Yeah, the orc one. The orc one has a lot of bones in the ration. <laughs> um, for scraping your tusks on and stuff like that, and the uh, the. Cool. Uh, the lizard folk one had lots of fish in it. Mm, neat. Oh. Um, dungeon rations, personal feast. So dungeon rations, five uses, three coins, one weight. Personal feast, rations, one use, ten coins, one weight. Os which is listed as ostentatious, to say the least. <laughs> um, we don't have anything for booze yet. Um, I was considering asking if we could start a sill. Still yeah, that's the thing that you yeah, can work how on. How do we like make up? Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't I mean, you think. Could always have that be your personal project for this. Yeah, yeah totally. I don't think um, the dwarven uh, halfling and elven things are here. Yeah. Okay. So, um, but you can also purchase like a hearty meal for one, right? Like, or uh, like you can purchase the the meals things as well. So that is useful. Um, I think that booze can be purchased if you have a tavern. If I, I think, let me have a look and see what what the upgrades list says. Because I think the tavern allows you to purchase like just you know, yeah, drink and rumors. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Whereas, yeah, House of Vices is for more intense. Uh, can that be the name of the tavern? Like, what well, house of rumors? drinks and rumors? Yeah, if, if we if yes. we want to make one. Yeah. I was gonna say it says that if you get the once we get the mill better food 
can be. Yeah, can be good. right, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so yeah, so personal fees probably can't be purchased at the moment, but we can buy buy. But we can rations. buy rations now. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, you can probably buy um, the mill would probably allow you to get rations that are actually better, like better weight ratio as well. I okay. you can carry more for less weight because they will be because if you can mill things, you mm. can make more dense calorie count. Um, so you can probably get, get, uh, food that isn't quite as bulky to carry. I'm a princess. I probably know about building mills. I should <laughs> yes. do that next time I can do a downtime thing. And I feel like, I feel like if we wanted to, um, the, uh, actually, you know what? I reckon a mill probably allows us to make the, like, dwarven hardtack and delvin bread. That's probably what it is. Um, so... Because that is definitely not available with just farms, because it's fancy. But um, but at least now you don't have to. You can you can spend coins on food as well as herbs and poultices and stuff. I don't think I've ever gotten coins <laughs> in this game. Yeah. I think maybe once for, when I was playing the ranger for one of the sessions, but maybe that's a that's a I mean, thing I need thing, to look right? into. Like when when you when you go looking for rumors when you set out, you can be yeah. like you can kind of think about like what are your priorities. Mm. Um, yeah. are, am I a person who wants coins at the moment? Am I a person who specifically wants to like help the town out, or do I have personal problems that I'm trying to resolve through adventuring? That sounds like I'm projecting. I'm not. Um, <laughs> um, you just need but... to loot more goblin bodies. Yeah, exactly. That's that's a hundred percent an option. Yeah, we can make goblin jerky. Yeah, everyone loves go. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, Heather, does Forland want to do anything? All right, wait, who was, who just did it? Me. That was me. I you. did the farm. <laughs> Forland, Sorry. The farm. Um, Sketch, um, did you want to be doing anything around town? Is, is working towards having a tavern, a thing. Yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tavern, right. does it have, tavern, ha tavern doesn't even have any requirements. Um, really? like okay. you don't like, yeah. So like, I, I you don't have to like it's one of yes, the things no. where you don't have to have built something else first. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you can you can definitely start on that. Is that a thing you want to work on? I can just start working on like building a place. What is get, what what is Sketch's like first initial steps to being like? I think there should be a tavern here. Like, what is the what is the first move as far as like getting a tavern going? Uh, definitely, just telling a bunch of people all about it and making them think it's their idea. So that, <laughs> that <would happen. laughs> oh, that's so good. Awesome. All right. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's see your, so rolling 2d6 plus three for fortunes. If you have anything that you think would be helpful towards uh, making a tavern, then you could, you, you could get an extra plus one on top, but, um, but it, like plus three is still pretty safe anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think any of the things I have will help me. All right, cool. Eight. Um, so on a seven to nine, you get to choose a thing. Um, you can make headway, but the going is tough and takes its toll on you. You make you mark a progress, but you gain a debility. Or the project is delayed due to disturbances in town, and I'll give you a reliable rumor instead. Oh. Last time I was here, though, there were so many rumors already that it was like really hard to choose what we were going to do. So even though that's an inclination, um. I don't know. Um, <laughs> if it's if it's hard making decisions, that means I'm, uh, that means the game is going well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because that's what role playing games are all about. Yeah. So if I take a debility, 
how will that affect me? Do I have to? So it gives you minus one on uh, ongoing to the thing. Uh, okay. to, so you pick one of your stats and you basically have minus one ongoing to that okay. stat. Um, until you yeah. fix it up, which is one of, like one of the camp actions is use up a resource is where you're like I have you know I'm grumpy and I have some yeah. booze so I'm gonna use the booze in a camp action to okay. make myself not grumpy anymore. Yep. Yeah. All right. That that makes sense. So the, yeah, the abilities okay. are. So, like, if I've been just constantly going up to people and trying to be convincing, I'm just like really tired. I feel like that mm -hmm. could affect charisma that way because now i'm just like oh i'm sick of like doing the social mm -hmm. <laughs> yep so yeah grumpy one. is minus one ongoing to charisma yeah if you want to do that one sounds good um, i just need to remember that or um, there's a section on your sheet under um, there should be a, a section under charisma where you can just click the minus one box Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what it's called oh. on the sheet, but yeah. yeah. Um, cool. All right. But we may, we get one progress. So give me a second and I will, where, let's, let, let's, this is the great thing is if you're the person that starts it, you get to choose where to put it, where to put it. So I'm going to just call this tavern okay. and all players can, there we go. Um, and I just need to set that back Ooh. to being choose side. One, you've made one progress towards it. Cool. So you can put that wherever you think the tavern is going in town. That's quite a good spot, almost, but I feel like... Uh, I'm just going to put it, like, really central. Because then everyone who's been working on farms and who goes to the carpenter and apothecary and stuff can come back to the tavern. Cool. Sounds good. Yeah. Do you want to pick one of these buildings and put it in one of those buildings and we can in, like... Yes. Do you, I'm going to put it in... I'm going to put it in this weird little U-shaped one. The, yeah. Cool. I like it. And it's just down the road <laughs> from the apothecary. So like, so like yeah. people can be like, I need a hangover cure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, let's go to my... Yeah, awesome. Go. Cool. What about what making some progress? This is becoming a town. I'm so <laughs> excited. We, yeah, um, awesome. Well, um, after we do that, we, there's nothing is currently assaulting the town. Do we want to go looking, does anyone want to go looking for rumors? Um, El Elsana has learned her lesson after, after last session, um, where she, despite having like really bad charisma, tried to find a rumor. So. Sure. Yep, I, I think you I'll found see. it. You found a rumor. It was a bad rumor. <laughs> I think Ike's gonna look for rumors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. What kind of rumors are you looking for? Um, I f I feel like the town needs something to celebrate. Like we've, we've been putting out fires, <laughs> mystical and real. <laughs> oh. Um, and I think. I think maybe, or mystical and metaphorical rather is what I meant to say. Mm -hmm. uh, I think maybe a a holy relic that needs to be recovered, or or a treasure, or like mm. you know, or a or or a, or a secret stockpile of ancient wine. Like yeah, something something to have a party with. Yeah, something to something worth roughly a hundred coins so that we can carouse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Um, all right, so um, when you go prospecting rumors, uh, roll plus charisma. If you spend coin on it, take plus one forward. Very nice. Awesome. I do not have coin to spend, so I'm just going to straight up roll. On a 10 plus, you hear tall tales told firsthand. Let me have a look what I can find for you. But No, that's a little dark. I don't think that fits the... Um... Oh, 
I'll have a look at the map. That'll tell me. All right, cool, 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 cool. So, um, I quick think... OBS truncate silence. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, sorry. Um, it's all good. I just it didn't occur to me how long your pause was going to be, so I didn't think to fill it. No, 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 it's okay. <laughs> um, but just because I wanted to find something that was like properly. No, like, indeed. Uh, no, properly, no, no. like. <laughs> Um, all right, cool. So, um, I think Ike, um, it talks to someone who, uh, who has seen, there's, there's this figure who has been seen around town, um, with, uh, with, not seen in town, seen near town, never coming into Beta itself, who has very fine embroidered clothes um, of like a silk. Um, they always have their hair in a, in a very like tight top knot and they seem to be walking around with a, um, like a cart almost with, um, with like, um, uh, with like, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like enamel paintings on uh, on it? Lacquered. A lacquered cart with like beautiful enamel paintings all over it. Um, uh, like like kind of tropi- uh, shopping trolley size, maybe a little smaller. Um, but yeah, um, but like wooden. Um, and this person's been uh, been wandering around. And the the person that you're talking to, is, uh, to uh, says, and I got a good look at the cart. And it has on it a rose with golden with golden petals and i was so, and i thought to myself i'm sure i've seen that that symbol somewhere before and i remembered that at some point when there were uh, when all of the when it was really bad when the the little spider the, pe- the spider people the chitons when they were coming into town one of them had a a helmet with that golden uh, with that golden rose on it and then another uh, and all of those all of the ones from that time they were all very well equipped like they'd read it somewhere and i thought uh, and i'm sure that if uh, that up somewhere near wherever they were coming from there must be somewhere that they were getting all these very fancy swords and bits of armor and things they do you know- do you do you think the man would know where they where 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 they're from I, uh, the, the person's like, oh, probably, but I haven't talked to him. I don't think anyone in town wants to talk to him. He's strange. He doesn't come in. He's always just lurking around. He doesn't seem to go anywhere in particular. He just comes and goes around the forest. Maybe, maybe he's waiting for someone brave enough to talk to him, and then he'll give them a quest. And yeah, and, and the person's like, what is a quest? You know, like a quest, like, like oh, a oh oh a sacred task, a charge from on high. Oh, not like when you're really tired and you need to lie down for a little bit. That's a rest. Oh my god. <laughs> Old people are the worst. But yeah, uh, the, the, this this person seems to think that um, that somewhere out in the forest is a place with uh, with all of these very fine um you know um armor and things like that he doesn't under this old man doesn't understand my young uh modern adventurer lifestyle your your heart that that yearns for adventure yes exactly it beats strongly within your chest ready to ready to lay itself bare for 
for adventure. For adventure. Um, cool. Well, I'm definitely going to tell other people about that when it is in, in a moment, unless someone else has other things that they want to do. Yes. Yeah, anyone else have any feelings? I have many feelings, but um, I'm more than happy to pursue this golden rose mm -hmm. uh, equipment tantalizing theory. Yeah. Yep. Same. Cool. So I think we see Ike and with her with her cloak pulled about her, walking around town, awkwardly walking up to the people that she thinks are the other adventurers and things, because there's a few of them in town, and be like, oh, excuse, oh, oh. you know, they walk yeah. past. Probably goes and tries to talk to Brian Aid, and Brian Aid just dismisses them, and Felum is terrifying. Yep, 100%. Um, and then it's like, I, I just, I, oh, you know, talk to other people. I'm, 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 I have a, I think there's a quest. I think there might be a quest. Who, which, What's which a quest? You... Is that like, yes. is that like when you need to go somewhere, but it's like, like you have to follow a compass? I mean, kind of. <laughs> Who is the first person to take interest in this shy, awkward tusked shy. girl? A shy of someone oh. wandering around yelling. I'm not yelling. I'm awkwardly asking. Isn't that when, a, when like a god or a holy thing gives you good luck? That's being blessed. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, who who and who, sketch who just like um, appears next to you, <laughs> seemingly. Oh oh uh, hi. Comes out and it's like quest. Yeah, the, I think I think that the the man <laughs> in the silks might have a quest for us. No, it was a it was a whole jacket. It had sleeves. Yeah. No, no, that uh, that's oh, no. You're thi I didn't say <laughs> vest. I said quest with a qu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm just gonna kind of rock up dusting their hands on their dungarees and be like, what, what's going on? I heard lots of old people shouting. I think, I think, I think, I think that there may be a quest. But first we have to find the quest giver. But I have a plan for that. Okay. What? It involves prayer. <laughs> To which warden? Um, I guess you could say that they're kind of like. One second, I have to scroll up because I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Not who. I guess you could kind of say that they're a bit like Shobi. Shobi? Shobai? Shobi. Shobi. Yeah, we're kind of going to play to Shobi. Kind of? Kind of. The important thing is we're going to be praying, or I'm going to be praying. You don't have to join me. If it's not your thing, that's fine. But I just think, I just find that praying helps me, if that makes it's sense. not my thing, but I will come. Excellent. I'd like to... I can be good at praying. I would like to pray and ritually clean, and therefore quest... Yeah, you're, are you starting a new quest? I am going to get rid of my old quest and start a new quest. Yeah, sounds good. Um, I... I assume this is a paladin type thing. It's a paladin yes. thing, yeah. So when I dedicate myself to a mission through prayer and ri ritual cleansing, um, I can do a quest. I'm going to hit this button so that Ash knows the cost, Thank has the cost much. things. Um, and I have to pick... Uh, a couple of other things. So I get to pick two things and then um, Ash tells me what it will take to maintain my quest. Mm -hmm. So I am on a quest to discover the truth of the golden rose. Temperance and <laughs> valor. Oh, temperance and valor are going to need to be done. Oh, geez. Um, I am going to have an unwavering sense of direction to that man. All right. 
Um, and um, it said that he said they said that the Chitons had weapons and stuff, didn't they? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take in in vulnerability to edged weapons. <laughs> I would like to be immune to stabbing. On the off chance that we get attacked by some kind of sword amalgamation or like oh. or like a ghost wielding a sword, like a possessed sword, or Crichton's wielding swords, like I'm gonna take invulnerability to edge weapons and an unwavering and an unwavering sense of direction to that guy. Sounds good. Alright. Um, um, so what do I need to do? Temperance is I cannot overindulge in food. And Valor is I cannot suffer an evil creature to live. Okay. <laughs> Fun. I, lo- I love these because it's always just, dear GM, pick whichever ones you think are going to get them in the most trouble this week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, you ha- you suddenly sense in your chest, you know, the right way to go. Mm-hmm. It's this way. <laughs> and we walk towards the edge of town. And then do that we sounds under- like you're. Uh, yeah. Sounds like you're journey. undertaking a perilous journey there. I would like to lead these brave pilgrims in a perilous journey. Mm-hmm. Um, is that just roll? When you lead your party through the wilds with a destination in mind, name what you're looking for. We're looking for that guy with the robes and the lacquer. Sounds good. Uh, ask the GM how much progress you'll need. How much progress will I need, Ash? Just one today. You picked a good Excellent. day for it. I picked a good day to set out to find that guy. Then roll. If you have a map, add your intelligence. You don't have. You don't. He's not on the map. We don't have a map to that guy. Yeah. If you have folklore and hearsay to guide you, which you do, you add plus one. We also have an unwavering sense of direction. Yeah, that's not going. That's making it possible. Okay, that's fair. All right, I'll take folklore um, in here, safe for sure. If you've been there before, haven't been to him before, so um, if you if everyone is mounted, not everyone is mounted, so no. you are rolling two d six plus one. Excellent. On a seven to nine, choose one, make a discovery, but no progress. Ask the GM what you find, or make one progress, but only if you overcome a danger first. Look, I feel like I pick the second one a lot, but I'm inclined to pick it this time now as well. Make progress and uh, and with a danger along the way. Yeah, I just like making progress. That's the <laughs> thing, like... right? Like, and and danger is interesting. Yeah. Mm. Um... Like discovery is cool, but like I do really like it when I get to make progress. It does mean that um, the danger is close to town. Mm, but that's if we good. overcome it, then that's fine. Yep. Shall, shall we overcome a danger? Sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> wow, no, not that. Ew, gross. Um, <laughs> someone roll, want to roll me a d10? Yeah. Five. Oh, fuck yes. <laughs> Well, <laughs> things you don't want to hear. The, the, I'm so the, worried right now. I'm excited. All right, the uh, I think I think I th- um. So, as you wander, following uh, Ike's heart that tells them, you know, the right way to go, as in like morally correct. It mm-hmm. seems, is the kind of feeling, right? This would be the wrong thing to do to go this way. This would be the right thing to do to go this way. Um, it's like a bunch of keep out signs. We have to go this way. Yeah. It's the only choice. We can't go that way. We're not allowed there. I think the, I think <laughs> there's, there's definitely a bit where you, uh, where it's like, uh, where like you get to this area where, oh, it's the, yeah, it's this spot. Okay, cool. I remember this spot. Um, it is, um, it's quite dark. Um, Forland, I think, remembers this part of the forest um, where it's quite overshadowed so that, like, it, it's almost always, like, twilight at most um, in this part of the forest. And you're at, like, the edge of it. And you can hear from inside a sound that Forland doesn't remember from this place, which is, like, a really strong wooden creaking sound. Um, like a, like a ship in a heavy storm or 
like trees blowing in the like old trees blowing in the wind but like yeah like like very a very intense version of this sound right um and and Folland, you don't remember this but Ike's heart tells uh, uh tells her that like bravery is important and just because it's dark doesn't mean that you shouldn't go in there and sh- and shine the lights to find what you need um yep. valor <laughs> yeah that's where you're at mhm mhm i i i grab my halberd that is far too large for my frame and i and i i walk towards the structure Towards the sound in the in, yes, in towards the, the sound yep. with the halberd at the ready. Cool. Um, as you're walking, mm-hmm. y- you're at the front of this this party, and just uh, and like everyone else is just like a little like you know out uh, like out uh, like fifteen twenty feet behind you of just being like oh fuck. Um, and then suddenly you just hear like just next to you you just hear this like thump as like the ground shakes and this huge wooden tree stump like lands into the ground and there's like a whole trunk of a tree there and then suddenly there is a uh, uh there is like a branch swinging towards you to just bash you off the like just to collide you into the air what a shame that's not an edged weapon no no and i think you I get would... this moment of like looking up and seeing this huge gnarled tree person with that same um that same like weird gray black mold um, just completely, oh. th- like riddled throughout them, um, like a, a, like some kind of uh, like um, like uh, in the same way that like a fungus infects a tree. There's no leaves on this thing anymore, and where it might have once had like eyes and mouth and things, there's just like uh, there's just like this mold foam dripping out. A rabid, moldy tree. I'm going to try and block it with my halberd staff as the arm swings at me. That sounds like you're defying danger with strength. It does indeed. Because I am. Um, is, uh, uh, is this the same mold that we encountered last session? It yeah, looks I similar. So. Yeah. I'll take a seven. Yeah, cool. <laughs> um, yeah. It, it, you, I think you get knocked back. But you like you don't uh, and like you you go on like down onto uh, like you get knocked off your feet, but you're not getting hurt by it, right? You you use uh, you like brace yourself for the force and you land nicely, um, mm-hmm. as you as you hit the ground. Um, everyone else sees this. Um, oh, no. the mold doesn't seem to be doing the thing where it moves when things move though. Okay. Okay, that's good. Um. Regardless of that, I, I still warn the others, um, uh, be careful not to touch that mold. I've encountered something like it before. It could be very dangerous. Be set it on fire. Yes. Yes, I, th- I think that would be an excellent <laughs> idea. If you've got what the means. I was about to say, may I activate my burning brand, please, GM? Uh, don't, don't ask me. Tell me what you do. I activate my burning brand to send a giant spear of fire at this. Yeah, excellent, cool. So yeah, you craft yourself a spear of of literal flame. Fuck yeah. Roll that that burning brand. Nice, excellent. Uh, yeah, you get to- Flamey-o, Hotman. (laughs) Uh, I'm going to choose throne and plus one damage. Fuck yeah. Um, so yeah, um, that sounds like you're also then just going straight into a volley. Move snowballs. Make your choice, friend. With, I think, I, so if it's a spear, I don't think the last option is one because it's yeah, now... Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think that really counts as an, as an option unless mm. it's like, it removes one use of my burning brand extra or something. Nah, I don't think that makes nah. sense. Uh, I'll go with that. I have to move to get the shot to place me in danger of the GM's choice. Because you're allegedly not trying to kill us. No, exactly. I'm just trying to put you in danger for you to kill yourselves. Um, 
let's let's get your damage roll, and then I can kind of work out what the what the total of this what the total situation is. Cool, excellent. I rolled a um, one on my D eight of damage. That's terrible. I mean, yeah, it's all right. Um, like the plus one is is helping you there. Don't worry. It's, um, this thing is that. It's that. Sorry, I'm just quickly statting it because I just realized I hadn't. Um, that. That. Um. And it is cool, 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 cool. I don't think it is that. I think it is that. It is also that. All right. So yeah, uh, that that doesn't do shit. Fallen. I'm sorry. You you toss you toss your burning uh, you toss your burning brand into it, and it just like lodges into it. And it's that thing where. Like a small flame won't catch onto the big log because it doesn't have any middle tinder um, to like catch onto it. So the flames are like licking up and like blackening the side of it, but it's not it's not catching. It's not spreading. And in the meantime, to uh, in the meantime to get there, you've had uh, you've had to like get right up and close and personal because uh, because like it, so that you're now like um, in the vague space because other, because like your intention was to try and throw it at its face. And you just didn't get it high enough. It's got, right? And it's like, ah, oh, that's not its eyes. Um, so yeah, you and you and Ike are the two in the in the immediate like range, and it does just like lift up one of its huge like wooden feet, ready to just come down and like elephant crush the two of you. What do you well, do? Well, um, so bef before before that happens, yeah, <laughs> Elsana would like to try to freeze it to the to the to the spot. Uh, freeze its legs. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. It does sound like a good idea. It sounds like a good idea. <laughs> it did, and you're like, you're like, I'm gonna freeze. Oh no, I froze my friends in the spot where they're about to get trod. Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, uh, unless anyone has some smart ideas, I'm just gonna roll some damage at you. Can I use my burning brand to make a flail of some kind to help? How long does it take you to like shape a thing out of burning brand? I think it says like, yeah, it doesn't say anything about I, like time. you've suddenly become frozen and this thing is going to step on you. I don't feel like that's enough time mm -hmm. to a shape a thing and then use it. Okay, that's mm -hmm. fair. Um, so yeah, like if you were. Like so, this is the thing, right? Like we have to, we have to like trust in the fiction. Um, and I'm feeling like, like if you were a druid and you were like, I suddenly turn into a bear and it breaks the ice and I roll away, right? That's a, a really quick thing. <clears throat> but I feel like Burning Brand is not that. Mm. Um, Ike, do you have any smart, uh, smart moves, or are you just gonna? Get, no, I think get... Ike's really terrified. Like she tried to be valorous and it didn't work. <laughs> now she's really worried that she's gonna die. <laughs> All right, so this is yeah, for Ike. Ike, you don't take the worst of it. And Fallen? <gasps> Fallen. Oh, I wish those numbers were swapped. <laughs> I can take that oh, no. better than Fallen, can I imagine? I, I have 20 hit points as my base. I mean, that's I'm pretty still alive. Good. What's your armor like? Oh, that's, I yeah. Have remember no the armor. Oh, no. I can do the uh, fighting fire with fire. Oh, yeah, you want to do that because it's 13. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So when it's odd, I roll a d4. Look, that could reduce things by four. That would be a big difference. Three? That brings it down to 10, if, you, if that's what you're spending it on. half of my health points. Yeah, exactly. It's fine. Um, you'll, you'll, live, you'll live for another one. Two. Yeah, that sounds right for Paladin most of the time. I love this thing. It just gave me stats so quickly. I'm going to be like, ah, now I have a reason I'm killing you. Um, um, uh, do, uh, do we get any armor bonuses from Paladin quest stuff? Or is that... That's not, one okay. of the options that you can take, I think. 
but you didn't? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Awesome. Uh, well, you, yeah, I think, I think, um, Elsana and Sketch just saw the other two get frozen in place and then just get, they're now currently, like, squashed under a foot. As the, as the, like, huge thing, like, now, like, having seen Elsana do magic, like, turns it, right, to look at you with its, uh, with its outstretched, uh, just outstretched gnarly question. fingers. Would would the crushing have broken the ice? So oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, the the, but the ice is broken. Okay, yeah. thank heavens. Oh, good. I don't have to do that then. Yeah, you're currently under a foot though. To answer the armor question, the default quest, like at at starting level, doesn't give any bonuses to other players. But there are things that I can get that will change that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I have like a bad feeling that Sketch's weapons are pretty useless against this thing so like my big plans to pull out a torch from my adventure gear and try and like stab fire in, into the foot <laughs> so okay the great thing about this is that like if we're doing that same if we're remembering to do the same thing right gonna pull out a torch time. and you're seeing them be like come on come on come on come on come on, come on, come on, come on. like trying to yeah. light it <laughs> Awesome, cool. Uh, Elsana, Sketch is trying to light a torch. This okay. thing is like staring at you with like frothy mold pouring out of its eyes and mouth. All right, um, I'm going to cast. Um, sorry, one second. All right, well, I'm I'm going to cast freeze on myself, choosing the um, the one that adds plus three armor and slows slows me down. That's a good idea. And I'm going to get out my axe and just start chopping at the tree. Okay. Well, if it's slowing, if you're casting it and then it's slowing you down, it's going to get to like, it's going to bonk you before, um, before that. I, no, you know what? You know, you, you're hack and slashing. You're hack and slashing. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to give you minus one for that roll to count to account for the slowness. Does that seem legit? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds fair. Because then, because like for hack and slash, it is it that's then determining whether you both both make damage, one of you takes damage, or you get you manage to be quick enough. Cool. So yeah, uh, it's yeah that uh, that uh, that's an eight because of the minus one. Yeah, but yeah, but that's still seven to nine. So you get you get to exchange damage. So um, you're taking so you're doing your damage and um and it's gonna take. And you're going to take a d10 plus 5. A d10 plus 5. Wow. Yeah, this thing is... Okay, so let me let me read you the stats. This thing is huge um, and is known for its unrelenting strength and it operates solo, which are the things that all boost damage, so... Okay. Oh, god damn it. Well, I do my maximum damage at least, but excellent. I also take, um, yeah, thirteen minus one armor. That's, I mean, yeah, but you've done a fair bit of damage there. I love the um, the image Actually, that you're like minus, minus four armor. Cause minus four my, because yeah, because you've got plus three plus like plus three armor instead of just three armor is huge. Um, that's super cool. All right, so yeah, that's that's only nine damage that you're taking. And yeah, do you what? What does it look like? Because it's gonna swing towards you with its like massive, like open hand, try and like just knock you asunder. Um, and I guess I'm going to like, just sort of like swing into that hand as it as it comes at me, and just try to try to sort of chop it off like at the equivalent of the wrist. Yeah, cool, awesome. You definitely like. We hear this like crack and then a creak as it like you land into the grain at the wrist and you don't like cut the hand off but like you there's like a split opens in the hand and wrist where uh, where you've uh, where you've dealt the damage very cool um where am i keeping track of note to self add a thing that um that tracks damage cool excellent um yeah it's good so yeah it's got like this split from like palm up to like elbow um along the grain 
but to jam a torch. I could just get this done. Things are light. Just... <laughs> that sounds like you're defying danger, you, the, where there's a danger, which is you will not get it to light quickly enough. Uh -huh. Sketch. Yeah. That, that like, the, out, the positive outcome, you get it to light quickly enough. The negative outcome, mm -hmm. you get caught up in this whomping. Yeah. All right. What do you what are you what? defying with? Do you think is that de like often it's dexterity Dex? for speed? Yeah. Yeah. So does that mean I just roll dex? Uh, yeah, you make a dex roll. Yeah. So what does the inside of the the tree look like? Like, is it? completely rotten through with yeah it's and... rotten it's rotten wood inside right like it's that it, it's like all worm eaten and um and hollowed out and all that sort of stuff yeah 100 percent. cool um sketch i think you are um i think you go through um multiple torches Right? Like mm -hmm. you're like, this one isn't catching. Swap. This one isn't catching. And so there's like, how many torches yeah. do you have? Because oh. you're you using adventuring gear? Yeah. Yeah. Roll a d4 to see how many torches you go through before the before one uh, before one lights. So a, a, a one on this means the first one catches. Okay. Oh my the god. The fourth one catches. So please mark off four uses of adventuring gear instead of one. Okay. On the plus side, um, you now have like a, a like a flaming torch, right? This one catches beautifully. Um, I think it was probably getting soaked by some kind of like booze in your backpack or something, right? Like some spirits, and it's and it just yeah. goes. Whoosh. So, uh, uh, is it more of a flare than a torch? More, yeah, right, something like that. But yeah, you see, you see, you hear this like crack, creak as this like yeah, and like the 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 the. The splitting sound as, uh, and then you just see, then you see Elsana just woof, like fly across the thing. Um, and it, as it steps forward, stepping off of your friends to like come around towards you. Hey. What, what, what's the go team? I'd like to take some sort of cover if possible yeah you can you can do that that's fine yeah i think you do that there's um what what are you hiding behind is it like bushes or like a full tree or like how much cover you are you getting because like if you're getting like full cover it's going to be hard to like do anything from there i don't suppose there's any convenient boulders nearby most hmm, yeah you're not at the spot where all the big rocks were um the the, the like cut marble rocks i don't think there's big stones here it's trees and bushes and things like that. Um, and like, and now some craters where this thing has stepped. Um, up in the tree, uh, up in the like tree, uh, treetops, there's heaps of like, um, like mistletoe and those sorts of things, which also might be cover depending on how you think about it. But yeah, this isn't a stony area. Mm. Okay, in that case, I think I'll just try to get somewhat further away so I can try to shoot some arrows at its Actually, canopy, which will hopefully light. Sorry, I'm not following my rules. Um, I don't. I don't think. Um, if you think that you, if you think that there should be a bol that there might be boulders around here, then there probably should be. So that's you can 100% duck behind a boulder. Let's let's assume that it's like a huge, old like headstone. Right, like from a mausoleum. I like that one, as far as like what that stone looks like. Okay, I'll duck behind that and try to shoot some arrows into its canopy. Yeah, cool, awesome. Let's let's see what that volley looks like. No, Buddy. it looks like a failure. Yeah, no, awesome. Um, I am close to leveling up now. Yeah, uh, that you're, you're like. Yeah, I think I think what it is is that it, like as you duck in behind the thing, you just uh, and you like combat roll in behind the thing and you just hear the sound of like crack, and then you look at your bow. Oh, I was using burning brand. Oh, you're using burning brand. Sorry. Okay. I don't have any weapon equipment. You don't have any at weapons. All. all right. Um. Okay. So if it's 
if it's burning brand that it that is uh that is missing then that's a different matter uh can you roll oh, your damage exponentially worse can you roll your damage um okay cool uh <laughs> sketch it wasn't you that set that thing on fire can you take can oh. you take the one damage from getting hit by a by a burning arrow ow on I'm the plus so side it set the it set the torch on fire for you. So what happened was right, like this thing you're holding I the torch, being like click click click, and the ar the the arrow of pure flame like hits the torch and just knocks it into you, and you're like ow 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 ow. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Awesome. Um. Uh, yeah. Like the problem wasn't actually your torches all along. It was the thing you were using to light them. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Hey, okay, well I have a torch now. That's good. What are you doing with it? Um, what's the nearest bit of tree person to me? Big hand. Like, big hand. Well, okay. I'm just gonna shove this torch, <laughs> basically. Yeah. Like, oh. That sounds like you're rolling, that, that sounds like you're hack and slashing it with the torch. Yeah. I guess I am. Um, does that mean it's a strength thing? That's not going to be good. <laughs> it is a strength thing. Okay. Am I dead? Oh, I mean, no. you, you do you do damage to it, and it does damage to you. So you're going to take okay. a d10 plus 5 of All damage. Right. And then you're going to roll your damage against it. <sighs> okay. So, yep, yeah, and roll your damage as well. Um, I don't know what a torch is. <laughs> no, 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 no. You roll your class <laughs> damage. Okay. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. It's it's so, about how good you are at using weapons, not really about whether the weapon is bigger. Okay. Can do. Nice. Yeah. Good job. Okay. And <laughs> except um, that I think I'm unconscious because I only have six hit points. So <laughs> there is an unconscious in this game. Am I dead? There's a there's a thing to see if you die. Okay. All right. First off, uh, I, we're up to. I'm gonna record the that damage because you know you did some damage there. Good job. I and just I blowed away like that your hit points are six. Right now. <laughs> and then I want you to. So have you got the have you got the splintering wheel rules doc? Wait. Goodbye to you. Um, wait, 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 wait. You know you've Let, done your hit points have you correctly? done your hit? That was, I was going to say. It sounds like you've done your hit points slightly Constitution, wonky. not the con modifier. Your constitution is 12. Mm -hmm. um, so your hit points for being um, for being a thief are. Let me find it for you. Yeah, so you it's 12 plus something. Let me find it. Hmm. Um, Why the thief. I... No, because you've calculated it based on your con mod, not your, oh, uh, okay. not your con score, which is which is like really common. Um, Indeed, a common mistake. I did the exact same. Your thing hit points is six control. plus your constitution score, so you actually have eighteen hit points. Okay. So but you're actually half. just lost half. All right. Good job. Um, which means that you, yeah, so you, um, you jam this thing in and into that, like that section where it's like all, uh, where it's all like, you know, rotten, the, the rotten insides that were opened up by, um, uh, by, uh, Elsana and yeah. And, and you can see it like burning away the, the torch at, wherever you jab it, like singes away that like soft rotten inner core. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Oh, I have a feeling that this smoke is not good for us, <laughs> but probably not. But it might it. it might make it hard to see us, so we can run away. <laughs> um, Ike, you your throat catches a little as you, uh, as like you um as like you're like yeah, what's this powdery stuff? <coughs> Okay. What are, you, what, are um, you, what are you doing about that? I I pull up my my cloak. 
uh, my and and then put it over my face, um, and I, I'm gonna try and run a run away from sure. this thing. Sure. Does that sound like dexterity or strength or constitution to you? What do you feel like? I think, is... it, I think it's probably dexterity because sure. I'm just trying to get away from it. I'm gonna hope the fire takes it. Yep. Cool. Sounds good. Um. Okay. I want that button. Oof. 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 Can I help? Somebody help me yeah, run. How, how are you helping? Uh, with uh, with the uh, with this escape. Them and also running the yeah, heck away. That sounds like helping then. <laughs> and shouting to the others like this way. Yeah. All right. Everybody run. <laughs> Uh, so I'll re. What are the what are the numbers I get? Two a two and a four. I guess I'll re-roll that two and hope it's better. Yes, I'll take a five. Yeah, cool. What does that bring up to maximum? Uh, uh, that brings us nine. to nine. Okay. Yeah, so nine. Have a bonus. All right, cool. Um, so, um, what? I mean, yeah. What do you have to leave behind if you're going to run that quickly? Oh boy! Right, what's heavy? What's weighing you down? Yeah, I think I lose my halberd. Oh gosh, Ike, you've got to keep better track of it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the ancestral halberd of Io. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, and yeah, it, it um, like it's hundred percent. Like the thing is, like when Fallen like grabs you and pulls you, you drop it. Mm -hmm. um and then yeah you and, and like the two of you kind of like tumble down a bit of like like half run half tumble down a bit of like slope um in the forest um and like into one of those into like what was one uh, what is currently like pretending at least to be a path um you know where, where it's like uh s scooped down into the ground um and the thing totally like swings around looking to see where you went but um but for the moment it's like where did they go um, and then, like, r turns its back, uh, uh, and then, like, turns its attention back onto, uh, onto, um, poor Sketch, because Sketch has hurt it with fire, and it doesn't like that. Um, yeah, um, I think, I think what it does then is it's going, is it's going to, like, like, look at Sketch, and, like, just, like, pull its head back, and just, uh, and then just, like, right, and, like, all of this, like, uh, oh, all of this no. horrible mold is gonna like like pour out of its eyes and mouth oh, towards you. Oh, what do you do? Um, run, run away. All right, that sounds sounds like the plan at the moment, isn't it? Uh, cool. Yeah, that sounds like dexterity to me. Yes. Um. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Um. Like this, some of this stuff like kind of like washes over you from your back, but you're like covering your eyes and uh, like uh, covering yourself to do that, and like has and you realize that your torch has gone out um, from the like from the th this horrible moldy stuff. Uh, Asana, you're watching this happen. What do you do? Um, I'm okay. Uh, d uh, does it look like Sketch is gonna get away? Okay. I mean, they're not getting y yes. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna thaw the the frost armor thing that I have on on me, mm -hmm. so that I can move normally again. And then I'm going to um, defy danger with dexterity to get out of there. Yeah, sure. Like to, to follow the others. Yeah, to try and yeah, catch up with the others. That sounds like a good plan. Let's do that. Let's see what that looks like. All right. Um, <laughs> I mean. Do you want to go through its legs to get to the others? You might. You're gonna get stepped on. You're gonna get like hassled. You're gonna. You're gonna get hurt. But you'll get to your friends, and you won't get that stuff on you. Um. You can. You can not. That's fine. I'm just saying. Like, if you want to get to your friends now, that's like. There's a thing. There's the the whole things between you and them. You you take you you you, you, you shed the armor and you're like, oh shit, right? Like that moment of like. That is, like, I was concentrating away for a second, and now things are different. Yep. Okay, um, yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'll just run through. Alright, um, cool. You know what the damage is for getting trampled. Oh, wait, so, so I actually take, take, take... When it deals damage, 
you take that it, it deals a certain amount of damage. You, this is what I'm saying. If you want to get to your friends, you have to you have to take that damage, and you'll get there. You'll get there without being seen by it, even. No, I don't want to take another hit from this. Sure so thing. I'm I'm actually gonna pick a different direction, I guess. Yeah, just, just run off in a different to, direction. You just, can do that. That's just fine. You'll just be forget. separated from your friends. Yep. Yeah. That's that's all right for now. Cool. Yeah, yep. just you, you back it into the forest. Um, sketch this thing's still like following you. You've got the lead on it, right? It's it, it can't vomit onto you directly or swing its uh, swing its arms and knock you into next week. But you have to keep running if you want to do that. What, and eventually, you're going to like run out of breath. What's going to happen? <sighs> I need to like push something in its way, but I don't have that sort of strength so i mean uh, there are there are all of these like we've established that there's like some of these broken headstones around you can try and but like it's it so it's it's size category is huge right so that's so the the definition of that is house size or larger yeah so this is gonna step over it unless it's like a pile of trees which i don't think i'm wondering if i'm wondering if like ike and I, i think that ike and um and Fallen definitely can see it chasing after you. Um, I, I, I sort of move towards um, Sketch, and I'm like, they're in trouble, we've got to help them! I say to, to Fallen. And, and then I, I, I sort of wretch my arm free of them, and I, and I sprint towards this... Just catastrophe. Um, <laughs> and, it's a big time. And as I sprint forward, I think I start to shine brightly uh, as I leap into the air and my cloak disappears in a burst of light. And then this huge, muscle bound, beautiful orc woman in midnight black scale armor is. Is running at this creature. Uh, as Colin I sh- has no idea what to do with this wonderful transformation sequence. They're just like, what? <laughs> as I shout, the Midnight Paladin Io will not let you die. Excellent. That sounds amazing. Are you are you defying danger with charisma to get its attention? Yes. Yes, I am. That sounds amazing. Magical girls. Um, where is my roll twenty sheet? There it is. That is a good question. <laughs> I have tabs open. I was looking at paladin things. Uh, I roll a ten for my defy danger. Awesome. So it's not. So it's like temporarily like stunned, right? Like you yell at it and it turns around. It's like. <gasps> Oh, right, the, for- the forces of evil within it cannot uh, uh, cannot bear mm. to be in your presence, and it uh, and it can't move for a moment. You have the advantage, Midnight Paladin Io. Excellent. You said something about tombstones. There I are believe. some tombstones around here. Yes. I scoop up one and I throw it like a frisbee at its head. <laughs> Roll volley. <laughs> yeah, I don't get to use volley very often because I'm not normally playing volley characters. Uh, so I guess that's Dex. I'm just checking what the rules for thrown weapons are. I'm just mm-hmm. double checking it because it might be that Volley uses, um, where's the tag list? Tag list. Mine is automatically set on Dex, but. Oh, you, yeah. Um, weapons. Uh. There we go. Tag reference. T for throne. Mm-hmm. Oh, it just means that it just means that if you throw it, it still hurts people. All right. So yeah. Uh, so you're still using Dex to roll it. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Cause you got to aim or whatever. Yeah. So you, you, go. you got a frisbee. Oh. Oof. Oof. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm definitely not hurting it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um. Oh. All right. Um. <laughs> Oh, I know what this is. You throw it; it disappears, and it disappears into the thing. And behind you, you hear, Ooh. and we get oh. a break. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>